Mm. I really need a coffee this morning. So, uh, hello, I'm back. So, day minus one happened, but the video didn't happen. I didn't make one, my last day of work. And uh, Nomad Day number zero yesterday happened too, and I still didn't make a video. Sorry for that. I mean, uh, there are so many things I should be telling you guys. But, you know, there aren't so many of you guys. I'm alone on YouTube right now talking to myself, so it's really funny. <laughs> so anyway, on this street, there's going to be a, a contest, like a run, a fireman run or marathon or something like that. So this, there might be a lot of noise very soon. So that's why I'm trying with these headphones uh, first, because today I'm testing my, uh, my microphones. And these headphones uh, have uh, many microphones on them so i expect that when too many people are here or the run people run here uh, they're going to be a lot it's going to be a lot more noisy on these headphones so let me test them first so i can switch to another kind of microphone later on just in case it gets noisy so uh, yeah i'm a nomad or a digital nomad since yesterday and that didn't change much because I haven't accomplished much uh, yet. So, uh, yeah, last day of work was fantastic. Uh, had a paid lunch. Uh, it's always good with a beer. And uh, yesterday was nomad day number zero. Or, or should I count from one? But I did. Uh, I guess it's the central day. Uh, the pivotal day, so I call it number zero, whatever. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm uh, finished uh, packing the bike in, uh, in the bike box. I should have made a movie of that, maybe an accelerated movie of, of myself packing the bike, but hey, forgot about it and the bike was already in the box, so too late for that. I need to get used to, to think of filming uh, stuff, but uh, anyway, let me switch to another microphone. All right, now I'm trying with my normal, like, cheap uh, headphones, microphone that you can find anywhere. These are Sony's, I, I believe. So let's see if the sound works. Um, so where was I? Yeah, I missed a few videos. It's much tougher than I thought. I'll tell you what, I have uh, gained a lot of respect for all these YouTubers who make uh, videos every day, sometimes multiple times per day. You just cannot edit complicated videos so fast. It makes no sense or else you're not gonna have any time to live. And that's definitely not my goal to have no time to live. So uh, I'll have to adjust, I don't know. I, I would like to make a video every day, but it'll have to be either short or uh, very uncomplicated. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, in any case, um, let me switch video. Uh, let me switch to the next microphone because I really want to test that one. All right, so third and last microphone. This one, a Rode R H O D E. I don't know if I pronounced that right. If you haven't seen or noticed yet, I definitely am not a native English, right? So uh, I'm a native French uh, from Canada. So I might mispronounce some words or uh, mis put the accentuation and the wrong syllables, stuff like that. So bear with me, not my fault, nothing I can do, but I'll try to improve, definitely. But I'm trying to learn many languages. I uh, hablo español también, eso me gusta. I like uh, to speak different languages and I don't want to put the effort to, to speak them all perfectly because it's not worth it, really. But English, I think I speak not not so bad so uh, it's required for my work as a computer guy right everything is in English so anyway I was telling it's not easy to make all these videos I'll um, definitely uh, focus on the important things as I go and the important thing I was uh, thinking is to what's in it for you right I mean I don't want to just make a YouTube video of me traveling there's plenty of that who cares so what's my difference what am I trying to do so the difference I guess is that I am a an older guy computer guy who's trying something different most people my age like I don't know what they do but uh, that's not what I do I'm more sporty more adventurous uh, definitely different from the guys my age I've been told multiple times so I try to have more fun I'm very young in my brain like I'm in 16 or 8 well let's say I'm 18 so I, I, I'm an adult at least so 
I like to have fun, think differently. I have a lot of young people as friends across the world and uh, I really I try to do things. I'm not planning for retirement, I'm planning for non-retirement. I'm planning for constant fun, trying st new stuff, uh, trying to to keep up with the, the world that is changing, right? And that's why I guess I'm a digital nomad because uh, it's in the air. I mean, young people are, a lot of them are becoming that and I think it's cool. And um, I've been attracted to doing that even before I heard the word digital nomad. Uh, so um, so I'm trying to do that. And, and I guess uh, one pe person I saw recently, which was a kind of inspiration is a fighter. I don't know how to pronounce that either, P-I-E-T-E-R. Anyway, the guy uh, made a lot of little startups um, and uh, a website that's been successful and is an inspiration. Uh, I guess the only part is that he seems to have a grudge against old white males uh, that invest in money from Silicon Valley. So I guess old white males is me, but I'm not investing money from Silicon Valley, so maybe he doesn't hate me. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, the guy is um, is a success and, and something I'd like to do. And um, he made different things like trying multiple startups in a row and, and see what sticks. Uh, I like the idea. He made his company an open startups, which means you see all these numbers, which is something I like too. And uh, now he's made uh, a lot of money and he's trying to help people, or at least he says so. So I like that too. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, once you made some amount of money, who, who cares? I mean, once you have, I don't know, different for every people, but if you have one million, two million, three people, uh, three million, and if you have 10 millions, what, what different are you, are you gonna do? If you want a big yacht, I guess, but at some point, what's the point? So I would definitely use my money to help other people too. I, I think that's a cool concept. And um, if we all repeat that, wow, that can bring people forward. Could be inspiration. So um, the goal uh, right now is to be a nomad. So I already started being a nomad. And um, so um, I'm uh, making the move. I've been a nomad for one day. I'm going to move to Spain right now and uh, get things started. Um, I want to uh, do like uh, this guy was talking about, to, which is to create multiple startups and uh, see what sticks. And um, I, of course, I'm going to try uh, my own ideas. Uh, and um, I'm a developer. I might do things differently, maybe uh, create product to train uh, you guys because it's about you, right? Although right now there's nobody I'm talking alone on YouTube, but at some point I hope there are a few more subscribers and that can take something from what I'm saying. Uh, either inspiration but also in practice like products I could build that can help people do the same as me I'm sure uh, I I'm not alone doing that and there's a lot of people doing stuff maybe targeted at younger people I'm older so my I might do something different for the older generation so again it's a possibility we'll see how it goes I don't have a long-term plan and uh, so uh, I'll take thing, one thing at a time so right now I think the, the runners are going to be uh, around here pretty soon. So I'm going to shut this down and go see my suitcase and maybe get more organized for the next videos, which are not going to be here in beautiful Canada, but in Spain. So a different temperature for sure. So I cannot uh, wait to meet you guys there and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, thanks for joining me and see you soon. Bye guys.